What's up, everyone? You know what it is. We got the Sonic Frontiers combat overview trailer, and now I'm going to be done doing recording for the night. All right, let's look at it. Uh, this is an uploader on Sonic, Sonic Team's uh, channel from what I had seen. Actually, let me double check that. Yeah, not uploaded on Sonic, uh, the Hedgehog's channel. Almost said Sonic Team. I thought it was Sonic Team. It's just Sonic the Hedgehog channel. Oh man, I'm tired. Let's go. Sonic Frontiers introduces a new take on the action, adventure, and platforming genres by combining blistering speed with blazing combat. For the first time, Sonic has a skill tree full of exciting and powerful new abilities to learn. To unlock new skills, you'll need to collect enough skill pieces from fallen enemies and breakable items around the islands. Sonic also has his standard moveset, including a homing attack, drop dash, and stomp at the beginning of the game. While these moves are effective against normal enemies, you'll need to level up and unlock new skills if you want to take on bigger and stronger foes awaiting you on the Starfall Islands. A normal enemy on Kronos Island is nothing compared to those on later islands. So make sure you're collecting the red seeds of power and blue seeds of defense to boost your stats and give yourself a fighting chance. As the game progresses and Sonic levels up, so do your enemies. Completing combos is a good way to get the upper hand during battle, especially when paired with a new skill called Phantom Rush. Sonic's combo meter will fill up after attacking enemies consecutively. Once the combo meter is maxed out, Phantom Rush is activated, and your attack power will be boosted until the meter reaches zero. To deal massive amounts of damage in a short burst, use Sonic Boom, a long-range, high-speed kick that unleashes shockwaves at the enemy. Another option to dish out major hurt on your enemies is Wild Rush a flashy, zigzagging attack that sends you crashing into your targets with great force. It's a fast and stylish way to hit your enemies hard while avoiding incoming fire. Certain enemies in Sonic Frontiers have a shield or barrier protecting them. Break their shield with Psyloop and then deal as much damage as you can before it goes back up. If your opponent happens to land a hit on you, just use the Psyloop ability on the ground to collect more rings and get back in the fight. During combat, you'll need to study your opponents and determine the best strategy to take them on. Encounters with Guardians will require more than just using your homing attack. Many of them prompt you to engage with their unique combat mechanics first before reaching their weak spot. Once you have an opening, you can dish out all the skills you've unlocked from the skill tree. Experimenting with new abilities and discovering each enemy's weakness will help you defeat them with ease. Use your enemy's moves against them by utilizing parry during combat. A visual cue lets you know when an enemy is about to attack. If you react quickly enough, you can parry it and follow it up with a counterattack of your own. Using all these skills and more gives you tons of options to become the most formidable force in the frontier. Master your approach to battle and teach your enemies not to mess with Sonic the Hedgehog. Pretty decent trailer, I would say. Um, now, let's, uh, let's examine a couple of things. And while we're examining that, let's turn my mic down. It's always like really loud, I'm noticing, in these videos lately. So, um, a lot of exciting things. Uh, let's go through it with him talking a little less. So, we see some more 2D sections and, you know, the Cyrus Space stages. And we see this new, uh, what did he call it? Hold on a second. Because he, he mentions it here. Time in combat. This move right here. For the first time, so Sonic has let's talk about that a little later. Let's look at the skill tree. This skill tree looks bare as hell. You guys ever play Stranger of Paradise? Uh, that new that Final Fantasy one remake origin story whatever game. Like it has skill trees like this, and they're like very minimal. But the difference between this game and that game is there's actually a lot of weapons 
or at least a lot of different weapon types and job classes with those weapon types. So you can have a dagger and or you can have dual daggers and you know you could go with a move set that was you know more based on speed you go with a move set that's based on stealing stuff you go with a move set that's based on high crit if i remember correctly this is all information i remember from the beta but um or the trial more rather but this looks like <laughs> like what is this okay so this is the side loop i don't know what all this stuff is necessarily but look you level up once bam got it Unless some of these have multiple tiers, and I, I'd be looking silly, but... Oh, man, I got my skill tree. Bam, got that. All right, now next, next. Like, how soon can you level up in this game? Because it's making me think, like, is this is this based on EXP? Is this based on experience? Because if it is, it doesn't look like you need very much experience, right? Or even if you need a lot, why would you need that much? You know, you're just going up one over, over to, the, like, the left, to the right you know now if there's more than one skill tree that would be great but as i can see right now it's just one skill tree and it's kind of like ugh. you know like i hope there's some more characters you can play with <laughs> but anyway let's uh continue abilities to learn to unlock new skills you'll need to collect enough the sonic boom that finally has a name breakable items around the islands but you know we kind of figured right a it's a sonic boom set, including a homing attack drop dash I heard about the drop dash. So the drop dash is very stiff in this game. So you cannot curl out of a ball or uncurl the roll unless you jump, which I think is kind of ridiculous. And unlock new skills if you want to take on bigger and stronger foes awaiting you on the Starfall Islands. A normal enemy on Kronos Island is nothing compared to those on later islands. I'm glad that he confirmed that they're like much stronger on other islands. You know. But anyway. So, uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. man, I'm waiting for him to actually say that ability again. As the game progresses in Sonic level, completing combos, especially when paired with a guild called Phantom, Phantom Rush. Rush, that's what it is. This Phantom Rush looks cool, and this is what Sonic needs. Like, I always thought that, you know, Shadow, they kind of make the comparison between Sonic and Shadow seem like they're really even. But, you know, Shadow has way more ability. Shadow can, like, use Chaos Control. You know what I mean? He can teleport. He can do all this without the, the Chaos Emerald present. You know, Chaos Emerald allows him to do it more than once or, you know, in more times in succession if he has a Chaos Emerald. But canonically, he could do all that shit without a Chaos Emerald, right? Uh, but it's like, Sonic, what can he do to defend against that if he were to fight Shadow? And it's like, you know what? Phantom Rush... I think that's a pretty good thing because I don't Shadow. He's not as physically fast as Sonic without the air shoes. So like Sonic is like way more agile. So something like this, it makes a lot more sense how he could like fight with Shadow or whatever. But it's really cool. I like the effect, even though it's just you know his regular attacks being copied and pasted all over the screen really fast. I still like the look of it. Uh, but I'm trying to think. Was there anything else in here that was pretty cool? They just really name all the stuff we've seen already, which is fine. And, oh, I think I wanted to note this right here. Because he, like, attacks really fast. So he does that kick, right? And then he just fires off a bunch of attacks. Like, he um, punches faster, punches and kicks faster than he normally does. But already, you know, I've heard Premier and Remy say that the combat in this game doesn't seem like it's going to be as good as it was with... Uh, Sonic Unleashed, and I had to vehemently disagree just by what I'm seeing right here. All of this is so much more visually appealing than the Werehog. It's actually ridiculous. Yep. And this boss, uh, one of his complaints was the bosses seem like they're going to be simple or like the game doesn't look like it's going to be very challenging. And it's like, you know what? This doesn't look that crazy, but, you know, to a kid, this is going to, like, give them a lot of memories. You know, especially like look at all the stuff you could do, like all these things that you could just chain together. I like that. And hopefully, you know, there's an upgrade where you get just get to keep that power until you get hit again. That would be really sick. I don't really care about parry. Uh, I'm sick of parries in games like this. <laughs> Honestly, I mean, it's cool, but I think the coolest part is it slows time down. It slows time down. So it gives you like a wish time effect. That's the coolest thing about that. 
Um, I wish you would get that with like a Dodge, like Bayonetta. That's the only thing from Bayonetta I'd say like is really dope to me personally. I don't really care for Bayonetta. At least one. I didn't care for one. I never played two, or, and I probably won't play three. Uh, but man, Sonic Frontiers is it's looking pretty fun. You know, um, I can't wait till you know it releases so I could just play it. You know, I, I went from saying that this game was going to be trash, a flop, to well, I'm believing a little bit. And I'm getting it on PC, so if somebody can mod some adventure controls into the, the PC version, that would be perfect. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. Do you like it? You think you're going to pick it up now? Or do you think that the skill tree is going to be a big problem? Let me know what you think. Later.